What's up ladies and gentlemen, no zoop for you here, and I have another ship preview for you. And another Italian ship preview for you. And I know you all want to see everything you can about these Italian ships, because everybody's excited about Italian ships. I don't know why, maybe because they're kinda sleek, they got that Ferrari feel to them, I don't know. They have been missing from the game, so I think that's really one of the main reasons why people want to see these ships in the game. They fill a large gap. For today, I have the Tier 10 cruiser Venezia, or otherwise known as the Venice. And if you haven't been to Venice, you need to make that one of your bucket list items. Venice is an absolutely gorgeous city, although it is pretty crowded. If you do make it out there, make sure you make it to the island and watch them blow glass. It's a pretty cool experience. Also, it goes without saying you're in Italy, so make sure to sample all the food you can. All right, back to the ship. Let's look at some stats on the Venezia. For survivability, you have 51,800 hit points. Artillery, you have five triple turrets of 203 millimeter guns. You are bristling with guns, and that's pretty cool. Nine of them are to the front, and this makes you very effective at snuffing out destroyers, especially with your sap, because once again, being an Italian ship, the gimmick for these ships is they have sap. They have SAP and they have AP. And the SAP is pretty good, to the point that you almost don't have to use AP. Range on the Venezia is going to be 17.1 kilometers and you have a reload time of 17.6 seconds. These aren't fast reloading guns at all, so keep that in mind. And this is even with main battery mod 3. So even with that minus 12% to the reload, you're still firing at 17.1 seconds. She fires slow. But on the bright side, she is accurate and her guns are laser-like. You also have torpedoes on this ship. You have two triple launchers. These torpedoes have a range of 13.5 kilometers and a blistering speed of 56 knots. Yes, they're pretty slow. Yes, they're sea mines. Yes, if you're not careful and you fire them behind a ship, even a destroyer, and they're going the opposite direction, they might turn around 30 seconds later and wander right into them. And I learned that the hard way and I became pink like that. Lesson learned. Had they been any faster, I would have been perfectly fine. But you know what? We're gonna put that behind us. Don't like admitting I turned pink, but it is what it is. It happens even to the best of us. A defenses on the ship are pretty decent. Not the best, but they're definitely not the worst. Your maneuverability on this ship is pretty exceptional. 38.4 knots with Sierra Mikes. Your turning circle radius is 760 meters, which is even better than the tier 10 destroyer Paolo Emilio, which I previewed the other day. And your rudder shift when using double rudder shift, which I highly suggest on this ship is 5.6 seconds. This thing can turn on a dime and it's fun to turn on a dime. Although when you take double rudder shift, you sacrifice a little bit of concealment and with that not being able to take the concealment module, you're looking at 13.7 kilometers, so you can be spotted roughly from space. Some other interesting tidbits about the Venezia. You do have heal, which is nice. You have your choice of spotting aircraft or fighter aircraft. And lastly, one of the items that I forgot almost every single time I played, you have smoke. Because it does not feel like you should have smoke on this ship. This ship is large with a lot of guns, and they're slow firing. This thing's more like a heavy cruiser. It really doesn't feel like you should have smoke, and I tend to forget that I have smoke on this ship. The smoke's not very long lasting at all. Action time is 40 seconds. Your smoke screen dispersion time is 10 seconds. So it doesn't really last that long, and it takes about three minutes to reload. But that's okay. You have a defensive and offensive capability right there with smoke. That's pretty cool. Now let's talk about the Venezia overall and my first impressions of this ship. I'm going to be honest, I had a hard time with it, and I'm still having a hard time with it. I don't know what it is. I, I think the ship is so fast, you feel like you should be playing it closer, almost like a destroyer, and that's definitely not the case with this ship. I learned over numerous amounts of games that this ship really likes to be played more towards the back, using your turning speed to kind of weave in and out of shots being fired at you. I mean, the guns are great. I have no problem with the guns. Even the sap does a lot of damage against enemy ships. You can citadel enemy ships with sap. 
You can do lots of damage against battleships. You knock 10,000 plus hit points off of them with sap. And moving to AP, well, if you're closer to the enemy, you have to move to AP because you're going to overpin either. I don't know. The guns are kind of weird, and having two separate forms of AP makes it very difficult to decide what to use. I will say against destroyers, your sap is absolutely devastating. Take eight or 9,000 hit point chunks off of ships, especially because you got so many guns. In that respect, sap is a little unfair against destroyers, and it kind of acts how old AP used to act against destroyers. Really, what it comes down to is, I, I don't know how to play this ship still. I mean, I, I don't like sitting still because it's so fast, but it almost seems like you need to in the back and just play it cautiously. But with such speed and maneuvering, you know, you really don't want to. You really just want to put the pedal to the metal and fly in this thing. But that's not a good thing either because this thing does take damage. It does get pinned. It is a little squishy. And you're not one of those super cruisers that has 70 or 80,000 hit points on you. You only have 50,000. And the torpedoes, while you've got torpedoes, I, they're actually not horrible. I mean, they're kind of a fire and forget weapon. You've got great angles on them, and I tend to just fire them towards the front in the general direction of the enemy and pray that one or two torpedoes finds its way home, which happens every now and then. But you can't count on them as an offensive weapon. In many ways, the ship reminds me of the Hindenburg. Just with its ability to turn quickly and with its strong AP, but honestly, I like the Hindenburg a lot more. And the Hindenburg's more versatile because you've got HE, which sets fires, and those fires burn and you accumulate damage this way. It took me a little while to crack 100,000 in this, just because you're relying only on AP, and that's not a bad thing. It adds something different to the game. It adds something unique. Right now, still, I don't know how I feel overall about SAP as the gimmick for the Italian line. What I do know is this ship is fast, it's sleek, it looks good, it's got a ton of guns, and I think it's going to find a lot of fans because it plays like the other Italian cruisers that we're used to. And I think a lot of players enjoyed that play style. So if this is you, this might be what you're looking for. For me right now, I don't think I'm in the right place to play this type of ship, or at least enjoy it the way some of you all might. But just because of that, I'm not saying it's a bad ship at all. I mean, I've had some very good rounds in it. It's just a personal play style. So, this might be for you. Might not. But that's what these previews are here for. So, I want to know what you think about the Venezia. Tell me if you're looking forward to it. If you think that this ship will suit your play style. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more previews. Be sure to hit that sub button. And make sure to hit the notifications to get more of these previews in your mailbox. Thank you all. Zoop out.